welcome to modular classroom today in this video we are going to see about google jamboard so what is a google jamboard it is nothing but it is a whiteboard dis display mainly it is used for online interactive presentation tool and it can mainly used for meetings where it displays as a whiteboard which consists of a smart display you can easily pull images from a google search or you can attach the image from your system and save your work to the cloud automatically and you can use some tools available in the jambo you can drag and resize the image you can add notes to the jam you can draw and erase with the jambo from the web and you can share that particular jambo to your presentation meetings official meetings and you can also use that jamboard with your google classroom also so it is nothing but it is a smart one smart display where you can use the particular area in the jam area so what is jam it is nothing but it looks like a frame to enter into google jamboard just go to google and click apps and select jamboard so this is what it looks google jamboard is the app name displayed and it says you don't have a jam yet tap plus to create one so to create a new jam we have to press this plus button so that a new jam can be created so click on this plus to create a new jam So this is what the work area of a jamboard called so this box is called as a jam it is nothing but a frame like and whiteboard look like this is called as a jam so you can able to add some sticky notes some images some drawings with your pen and you can save that particular jam or a frame as a pdf or an image and you can send to your classroom to your for your students to look it out or you can share this particular jam in a presentation meeting or future there is being carried over anything can carry out to this jam it this particular area sh shows about the frames how many frames it includes two frame three frames you can include so these are mainly these three frames individual frames uh, combined into one jam like that you can carry over the work so first one uh this is, says this tool says about your zoom area and this says your background you can change this uh, particular uh, jams background by the dotted symbol dots or you can uh, use rules rule line or you can use uh, squares and uh, you can use graph empty ka blue color and dark black color blackboard so it looks like a blackboard and for example if you change this background to a graph means by clicking these left hand side you can able to see some of the tools available here this one is called as a pen tool this is called as eraser this is select pointer this is your sticky notes to add and this is an image and this is a laser pointer uh, when you click this pen uh, you can choose the different types of colors what you need and this have uh, a marker and this is a highlighter and this is a brush so by clicking this pen you can uh, draw a graph that is by clicking shift means you will get a straight line else you will get a non straight line this is what you can do that do that then after here you just draw the y axis so this is x axis and this is y axis you can mark it in this graph by using this pen and you can give some mathematical notations or you can save anything like this and uh, do some calculations on this and you can explain these notes by this marker anything and you can send save this uh, frame as an image or as a pdf and you can send this to your students in the google classroom and the next one is after i am going to the second frame here i am also changing the background to some bot dots or two rules and uh, i am inserting a sticky note that is i am giving an instruction to the students
and I can change the color to green or blue or pink anything and I'm saving. So this particular note, sticky notes looks like this in my jam. I can rotate by clicking this left hand side icon. I can enlarge it anything and I can able to insert an image. Since I have asked the question, I can you know, upload an image or select a file from my system or from the Google image search or from the Google Drive or from the photos available, anything. So I am just uh, uploading from the system what I have on the image. I have an image in the desktop. So I'm just uh, selecting that. It is uploading. This is what is the image I have uh, inserted into this jam. And I have asked uh, a question in the sticky note that is to identify parts in the given diagram. The students want to say this as this is a printer, this is a monitor, this is a speaker, this is a keyboard. This is the mouse, this is the CPU, this is the microphone, headphone, etc. etc. They have to identify this part and they have to submit this assignment. So, how to give this Jamboard as an assignment in the Google Classroom is after designing one, one as I have given the graph and the second frame as I have given the diagram. And uh, another tool that is available on uh, Google Jamboard is uh, when I am Using this jam in my presentation, I can use this laser pointer to identify these parts and explain. So this is a virtual pointer since it will not exist, but it will be used for the highlighting purpose, for explanation purpose. I can say this is a laser printer. I can say it is a speaker. It is a mouse. It is a keyboard. For this purpose, I can use this laser pointer. But the audience, uh, when they are on the meeting, you can able to visualize it, but it will not exist in the screen. It is a virtual pointer, but I can use for explanation purposes. So after this, I am just saving as PDF or anything. Download as PDF. It has been downloaded. And I am saving this frame as image. Both ways I can able to use this jam in other parts of this jam board, outer of this jam board. So I'm using this jam in my classroom. So it is being uh, downloaded as an image in the extension PNG. Now I'm entering into my Google classroom where I can assign, I can give an assignment to my students by clicking uh, classwork, create assignment. Title uh, assignment one identify the paths and by clicking add I am choosing file and here as just now I have uh, recently saved that uh, image and uh, file I am just choosing the recent tab so that is untitled the uh, jam this particular image i can uh, download since it is in downloads untitled jam 2 is uh, I'm uploading. So this is sent to the assignment. So here I have to enable the option for the students to edit. So students can view file as the default. Here I'm changing the option as student can edit file. So that they can open this jam and they can able to do the assignment by pointing out to the parts of the computer and they can able to send the assignment, turn on the assignment. So I'm clicking assign. So now this will go as an assignment to the students. 
since i a uh, google account cannot be created in two ways as a teacher and a student i can't able to open and show here but when the student open like this it will open by using this pen they have to mark here as and they can write here as printer like this they can use or like this they can uh, use a graph for x axis and y axis understanding purposes likewise the jamboard can be used as a digital whiteboard where it can be assigned for education purpose and for the presentation purpose also when presenting it acts like a uh, interactive tool by with the help of this laser pointer by highlighting the points what they are explaining explaining to the audience likewise this jambo can be used in google suit do so thank you for watching